Hey YouTube, Heavenly Prepper here. I want you to imagine, this might not be hard for some of you, but imagine you're a productive member of society, playing by the rules the way you're supposed to. You go to work every day, and you work hard for each dollar you earn. You bought a nice house, and after 30 years, you just paid it off. You have a bit of savings, but the majority of your wealth is in your 401k, as the government, your employers, and the mainstream media said it should be. You saved a cool half million dollars over the years. At least, it says so on your paper statements at the end of the year. You can't withdraw anything yet, due to your being a bit too young, but otherwise, uh, otherwise you take huge penalties and tax hits. So you're a productive member of society, and you play by the rules. You are an, interest, you are an interested spectator of this game right here before us. This game right here, the Federal Reserve and the government have been playing for years. The Fed has manipulated interest rates and knocked down prices of precious metals for years without any real consequence. But roll ahead a few years, let's call it May 1st, 2016, and the people have, be the people have begun to really see the deception. But as the Fed, what are you to do? The Fed always thinks they have a winning hand. And on the surface of it, they do. They have the monopoly. They look down and always see their hand just like this. Pocket aces. But this time, the game's heads up. It's just two players. The Fed, holding the aces, and the PM stackers over there, who refuse to buy into the lies. As the Fed, you want to slow play these pocket rockets since you don't want those stackers to fold right away with a big bet. You can't smack down the PM prices too hard, so you slow play your hand. Now as the Fed, after that flop, you realize that with three aces, there's hardly even a statistical chance that you could be beaten. So you start feeling pretty good. You relax your defenses a bit, and already you're counting the payday in your head. On 4th Street, you're feeling even better. And you put a decent bet out there. Those stackers will likely just fold anyway. They'll start to sell their holdings any day now. And there's 5th Street, the river. You got your money card. The board just paired, giving you a full house. Those stackers haven't folded yet, so you decide, I'm the Fed, I'm going to go all in. You manipulate and crash the metals prices harder and bolder than ever before and print QE to infinity. You might as well just take their whole stack if they refuse to fold, right? Except this time, they call, and they seem real confident. Instead of selling those dirty, barbarous, relic, precious metals, they buy more. They're a sad mistake, you think to yourself as you flip over your winning full house and smile, ready to collect all the chips. But the face of those PM stackers didn't change. Their resolve is still there even after seeing that full house. The stackers quietly and all at once flip over their whole cards, revealing the straight flush, the only hand that could possibly beat you. The game is over and you, the Fed, have lost. The population now sees the illusion and the demand for the dollar has vanished. The world now sees the value in physical, tangible assets and that the more the Fed tries to fix the problem by diluting the currency, the faster the people are waking up and rejecting it. The game is over. The stackers and the people have won. As the bystander watching that game, let me ask you, have you gotten your wealth out of the paper paradigm before the inevitable dilution and potential hyperinflation of the dollar? Is your wealth still valued in all paper assets and potentially tied up in the equity of your house with no real liquid position in physical assets? Don't be the one caught like that. Nobody knows exactly what trigger or what winning hand, what winning precious metals hand, will cause the Great Awakening. But sooner or later, it's inevitable. 
This is Heavenly Prepper, preaching and prepping.